In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the PMX, also known as the Parachute Madam X. First thing we're going to do is take a 5212 dry fly hook and some black thread. We're going to take some deer hair or elk hair and put it in a hair stacker. Get those tips as even as you can. I'm going to take it and I want to take that tail and measure out on the hook shank about a quarter inch or a quarter of the hook shank. I like to trim the butt ends to length. I just take them and tie them in right up by the head. And I'm just going to take my thread and wrap down the shank of the hook. And wrap forward here as soon as I get them all tied in. And wrap forward. Just kind of smooth out any of the the lumps and bumps. Now we're ready for our body material. For this we're just going to use some red single strand uni floss. We're just going to tie that in right there where we tied in the tail. And I'm going to take the floss and just kind of pull it out, pull out any of the kinks as you wrap back, any of the twists, and you got to be really careful when you get back here to the, the hook point that you don't nick it. And we can wrap forward. And you can capture it. Now we're ready for the wing. For this you can use the deer or elk hair once again. Put it in their stacker. measure out the wings that reaches just past the body and trim it to length. Do a nice loose wrap of thread and then bite through those butt ends a few times. That'll help keep it from twisting. And I like to go with a few wraps right up against that deer hair as tight as you can. That'll help just kind of lock it into place. There we are. Now at this point you can take a little bit of lead wire and just lock that deer hair wing down and out of the way. We're now ready to tie in the post. I'm going to take my thread here and I'm going to take it about the middle portion of the body. Lay down several nice tight wraps. I'm going to draw it all up at the same time and together. 
first wrap is kind of the hardest one to get started. And I'll just creep my way up this post a little ways and I'll go back down and I'll do this a couple of times and as I come back down this first time I'm just going to take some thread wraps and lay them right in front and behind the post kind of locking it into place keep it from moving keep it from twisting on me then I'll creep my way back up the post again I'll go a little farther this time we want this to be a little higher than you would think about two to three hook eye lengths high once you've done that you can creep your way back down the post again Now we're ready to take a hackle. I like to use Grizzly for my red PMXs. We're just going to measure this hackle out here real quick on the post. I want it to reach back about half the length of the wing. have it measured out. I'm actually going to just take it and tie it in right on the, the shank of the hook first. Nice tight wraps. I'm going to take it all the way to the post. Then I'm going to take it and draw it together with the post and creep up the post. And I can come back down. Then I'm going to take my thread to just in front of the wing, where I'm ready for my legs. For that, I'm going to use some Grizzly barred rubber legs in medium. You can use whatever color you want. We're going to use, oopsie, I think I just knocked my wire off. That's okay at this point. Whoop, it's still there. And I'm going to take that Grizzly leg. Oh, there it goes. I pulled it off on accident. Not the end of the world. We're going to use it again here in a second. I'm just going to take that leg and tie it in right here at the back, right where the wing is. A few tight wraps to make sure it's not going anywhere. And then you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. And a couple more for good measure, and then you can pull them out of the way and wrap your thread forward. You can just kind of get it out of the way for now. And we're going to take all the legs and the whole wing, everybody together if you can. There we are. And use our little piece of lead wire to just hold everybody out of the way. And I'll use a few more turns this time just to really make sure you're not going anywhere. Now we're ready for the thorax material. For this we're going to use a little bit of peacock curl. I'm going to take three or four strands here. Tie them in by the very tips. And just build a little bit of a thorax. Kind of a little ball. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. capture that peacock curl and trim it out of there. Now we're going to just do a little bit of a trick. 
we're just going to take our thread and we're going to make one jump to just behind the parachute post and just let it kind of hang there. And we're going to take our hackle feather and get it started around our post. First wrap is always the trickiest. Once you get the first wrap going nice and clean, it gets a little easier. We're just going to work our way down the post. And then I'm just going to hold that hackle feather kind of to the side. And I'm going to take that thread and work it underneath as many of those little hackle fibers as I can. And you can trim out the stem. And I'm going to use a six inch long reach whip finish. Let out a little bit of thread and I'm just going to creep it up underneath this parachute post. Just pretend kind of like the post isn't even there. I cut my post a little too long so it's getting caught in here. And do a few turns with your whip finish. And this one I should have trimmed my parachute post just a little shorter. There we go. But I was able to save it. Trim out your thread. Pull up your parachute post. I like to trim mine maybe a little taller than some other people do, just so I can see it. And that might be a little too tall. We'll give it a little bit of a haircut. There we go little parachute post. You can undo your wire, re-fluff up your legs, pull that wing back up. I'll kind of just pull all the legs out, and out of the way. I like to grab the wing, give it a good just yank upwards. Then I'm going to take all the legs, pull them down as evenly as I can, all four and give them a little bit of a trim. There we go. I like those back ones to be a little longer and then I'll trim the front ones just a little shorter. Just like that. And that is a finished PMX. Great little fly. Floats nice and high in the water. Easy to see. Can use a little dropper behind it, but just an all-around great little pattern to tie it in a lot of different colors, including orange and yellow. But that is a red PMX.